everyone in this part of lesson. I welcome you all. Uh, let's continue our remaining spelling rules. As you know, we had talked about first 20 major spelling rules in first three videos. So today, let's jump ahead. 21. When the sound of E is after C, then A comes before E. This is somehow contrary to rule 20. Over there, we were using I before A, before this long E. I mean to say when sound of long E is pronounced. However, here we use A uh, before I. Examples, perceive, perceive. So after C, we are having voice of long E. So here we use A before I. That's to be noted. Receive, deceit, etc. Well, now let's take a look at how final consonants are double in some words. The final consonant of a word is double when adding ed, ing, er, esc. Remember this, we can possibly double final consonants when we are adding er, ed, ing, est. And this is possibly for words ending in, in these, any one of these setting letters. And these are B, D, G, L, M, N, P, R, and T. Let's have a look at examples here. Run. You take a look here. This word is ending with a consonant, which is N. So when you are going to add ING to it, or ER, or ED, then we possibly and surely double the final consonant. Here, N is double. Why? Because here, ING is added to it. So here, it becomes, run becomes running. Here, swim. You take a look, this word is ending in a certain letter, which is M. So when you add a suffix to it, which is probably the ING, so it becomes swimming. Single A becomes double. Big, have a look here. Big is ending in G. And when we are adding ER to it, this final G, I mean this final consonant, gets double. It becomes bigger. And likewise, we have one more example. Sob, sobering. 23. The final letter is added when, excuse me, the final letter is doubled when adding ER in the following pattern. Consonant, vowel, consonant. What does this mean? It means when we are having this pattern, consonant, vowel, and then again a consonant letter, then we always add ER to it. So if you have a look, and this occurs at the end of a word, right? It never happens in the middle or at the beginning. It always does happen at the end of words. So you have a look, travel. We have the, which is a consonant, and then we have vowel, right? A, which is a vowel, and then again we have a consonant. So this V-E-L-E -E, is following this pattern. So when we are going to add the yeah, other, it becomes double. I mean, uh, consonant becomes double. This consonant, traveler. Alright, 24. Words of more than one syllable have their consonants double, and this occurs only when the final syllable is stressed. Have a look. Began. Here, we, this is began is monosyllable word. I mean, when you are pronouncing it, only one sound is felt. So when you are going to add a suffix to it, ing to it, then we always double the last consonant, which is pronounced with stress. So you just feel it, begin, and is having stress, and it possesses stress. 
So here we double the final consonant and it becomes Bethany. However, this is contrary to rule 24. Here I mean to say open. You take a look, there is no stress felt at all on this final consonant, open. So when you double it, when you add ing to it, then this final consonant is an added. Open, open. All right, let's get into the final one. Words having more than one syllable and in in L. British English always doubles the L, even if in the case of unstressed syllables. Have a look, travel. Travel is what? This is travel. We are having two sounds of it. I mean, travel is having position two sounds. Travel. So, British English, what do they do? They simply double the last consonant. I mean, which is, what is the last consonant here? According to rule, L is double. This is only and only happens in British English. However, this is, in American English, this is not double. We are having only single L. L is in double. So it was all about uh, today's lesson. And we will continue uh, our remaining grammar spelling rules in our next video. Hope it helps you. And yeah, let me tell you uh, something regarding this lesson. It's been quite lengthy, quite strenuous and heavy. Uh, but this is one of the significant topics that every English learner has to know. Because when you're going to write an essay, a paragraph, or, or a composition, then you must spell words properly and accurately. Because if, you, if you're not aware of it, if you're not spelling properly and correctly, then it does cut a sorry figure and it leads to a lot of frustration. You won't, you won't get good results. So thank you for watching and do subscribe my YouTube channel to get more and more videos. Good luck with your grind.